<sighs> Good morning, world, and all who inhabits it. I'm gonna go look at the beautiful clock. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna look at the beautiful clock tower. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Why would you hurt me, clock tower? <clears throat> uh, nothing like being the mayor's son. Mm, right? Wow, this town is so beautiful. Oh, a villager is awake already. I'm gonna go say hi. I think that might be the big, like, the uh, kind of peasant dish. One, the more poor of all the others. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna kind of look down, hope she doesn't recognize that I am the mayor's son at first sight. Where are you? Hello. Hi. Um, excuse me. Do you know who I am? Let me guess. Mayor's son? <gasps> um, do you pause the video? Did you get a message? Uh, yeah, I gotta go take it. Sorry. Oh, okay. Um, so, what happened, um, yeah, uh, I, my, uh, he sent me another message. Bye. Okay. Okay. Let's see. gonna be able to come? Not ran past you. Mm. Uh, he said he can't come today. Um, mm. Even though he's the one who called and asked about it. Maybe he asked before after and he has pink. I guess now you know who I am, don't you, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Then who do you think I am? That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Do you live in that wood house? Which one? They're all made of wood, aren't they? Except for the mayor's house. The one with the wood roof. roof. There is three with a wood roof. Does that wood? Is that wood? Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Sure. Yeah. 
it's definitely my house. Um, when it's time of your voice, I say you being sarcastic. <laughs> Other than you walk out of your door and a, and maybe a squid in the river. Yeah, I'm 
pretty sure I saw a squid in the river and you walk out of your house, but like that's the only thing I saw. Woo! You're lucky for that. <laughs> okay, what was that secret thing you wanted to show me but oh. before it turned to night? Oh yeah, come on. Follow me. Better start sprinting. Spread. Oh wait, you need to leave. You should sprint jump or else I'm gonna get in front of you. Right here. Right here. No kidding. I just need some more torches. Yikes. Yeah, just a little bit too dark. I kind of need some more torches, but... Oh, uh, yeah. I can kinda kinda I'm, I'm not even going to go in there. It's I, too, too I can, scary. like, kind of barely um, afford a couple more torches. I mean, I'm supposed to... Yeah? Do you have... Uh, wait, this is not really a polite question. I don't, I don't want to be rude, though. Should I ask it? Should I ask it not? Ask it? Ask it not. Do you want me to be honest what my question was? Sure. I was wondering if you had parents. Um... My mom passed away. No, it's the only thing I know. What? She what happened? She got a rubber plant surgery. You mean the one on the other side of the great wall behind me? Yeah. I, I used to Ow. live with her in a little house. That's why I have a bunk bed. But now I really don't need a bunk bed. Your mom shouldn't have spent the money on a bunk bed. She just should have bought two separate beds and not had to pay for the ladder. You know what I mean? Mm. Owie. <laughs> Walk right into a cactus. Sure. Showing me your secret area. Since you shared a secret, a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Since you shared a secret with me, I'm. I think I should stop hiding mine. Huh? Yes, I've been keeping a secret from you. That's right. Sorry. Why do you keep the secret? Because if if you know that I knew that my that my dad was the richest person in our city, you would have felt kind of jealous, and you would have kind of been angry at me. Well, I gotta go. Real quick. Since my dad hopefully is, is not inside right now. And you see me? Strangely, the main one of the main characters of this story looks up at the clock tower. And yes, I am the narrator of this story. 
Okay. So, and as the boy is talking, he's the entire time he's nervously looking up at that clock tower. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if my dad's in there right now, but I want to show you what he makes me see. Come on. Hopefully you'll be able to make it back to your house because it's getting really, really dark. Okay, walk in, turn your head to the left. And now we're going to hear the girls' thoughts. I bet he has like a double bed or something. It's true. He makes, he's such a rich man. It's such a big house that he makes me sleep in a closet under the stairs. It's only one block space to walk around in. Look. And it's an iron door. And I have to sleep in this little uncomfortable bed. No space to do anything. Well, you're lucky there's a maid. Does your house leak every night? trees outside fell on the house and caved in the roof. One time, a snake fell through my roof. You saw, I'm guessing you could see how I was kind of um, looking at, nervously at the clock tower. Yeah. Want to know why? Yeah. Oh my god. Right. <clears throat> my dad stalks the tower. Parts of the clock tower is made of glass, and he looks down at the town. My thought is that he's working with the other territories, hmm. trying to sell us out, keeping all the money from everyone else, and never showing himself to anyone in the city, not even his own son, so no one can figure out his secret. I've never even seen him myself. And I'm his son. I think I should get home. Yeah, go. I think he already knows you've been here. Can I... Okay, now I'm gonna hit the button on the wall to get out. What? The little old one. The little girl runs in the shadows with the mayor actually having no idea that she had come to the house. <sighs> so tired. Even now I, the narrator, must take a nap. Until morning. I mean, it sounds like you got hurt. What? I eat the door? What? Yeah, probably. I'm... Okay. The boy runs to, the, to meet the girl so they could try to put a stop to their father, to his father's evil doings. If I remember correctly, she lives in here. Hello? Oh! <laughs> hey. Hi. Come here. What? I got something else to show you. What is it? Is this something that I don't already know about?
guess your dad had a treat him like royalty. No, I wouldn't say he treats him like royalty. Well, first of all, he lives on the outskirts of town. Second of all, it's a wood house. Exactly. He gets a wood roof. Like, you have to keep, and he just has to give us our props and food. Everybody else has to pay extra to get a wood roof. That's why. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm in here with the sheepies. <laughs> Parkour! Dang it! <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> now what are you gonna do, parkour master? <laughs> I'd like you to consider me as that, but... Me? Nope. <laughs> I didn't even jump that time. Wait, girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. I five. I five. We can't hurt each other. Oh, wait, no, it's actually like a high five. Aim for my hand. Yeah, we're high five it. We're not hurting each other. Well, I used to get hurt a lot from high fives when I was younger because they hurt, they make it so hard. <laughs> hey, shut down. Well, the role play. Wait, turn the light off. It's ruining. Well, um, we just. Okay, well, okay, well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, good couple of days. I um, guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, the two children became best friends that day and forevermore. And they had no idea that their father knew the whole that his father knew the whole time. Bum, bum, bum!